Hey, this is Robert. Today I'm going to show you how to use green screen chroma key in Premiere Elements. So first, start up Premiere Elements and change your video settings to whatever you need. Add a title to your project and click OK. First thing you want to do is drag your video project assets into your project. So I'm going to drag in three files for this project. The first file is talent that we've shot on a green screen. We also have a Virtual Studio News layer and a B-roll footage file that we use in the monitor for our Virtual Studio layer. Next, drag your talent layer, which will be our top layer, onto the timeline. I'm going to drag it above the other layers, which will create a new video layer. Generally, if you have a footage file with a solid looking background, Premiere Elements will ask you if you want to apply a video merge to this layer. In this instance, we'll say yes. This will knock out the green in our talent clip. The next layer we'll bring down is the studio layer. So I'll drag that down and place it below our talent layer on the timeline. Elements may ask you if you want to apply a video merge to this layer, but we'll say no in this instance, so we'll walk you through the chroma key manually to remove the green monitor in this clip. Our last layer is the B-roll footage clip, so click that and drag it below the studio layer on the timeline. It may ask again to apply the video merge, and we'll click no once again. First, I'm going to rename the layer so we can get a little more organized in our timeline. So right click on the layer names, click rename to change the name of the layer. Call this one Talent, the next Studio, and the last one we'll call B-roll. So since we already have the green screen knocked out of our talent layer, I'm going to apply a green screen chroma key to our studio layer to take out the green in the monitor to show the b-roll footage underneath. The same technique we use here could be used to knock out the green screen in the talent layer if you need to do that manually. First, go over to edit, then effects. Now do a search for chroma in the effects search bar. This will bring up the chroma key effect. Click that effect and drag it onto the studio layer in your composition. It may do some weird things to your clip at first, but we'll fix that in just a second. Right click on your studio layer and click show properties. This will bring up the clip properties where you can see the effect properties for the chroma key plugin that we just applied to the layer. Right now, the chroma key is set to remove white in the layer, which is why it looks kind of weird. Next, select the eyedropper button. This will allow you to sample the green in the monitor of your layer so that you can tell the effect to remove green from this clip rather than the white. You can adjust the slider to knock out more of the green and also to fine tune your key with different edge effects and that kind of thing. You can see below that our b-roll footage is now peeking through our studio layer. Right now the scale and position is off on the b-roll layer, so we'll need to scale and position this layer to get it into place. So click on the b-roll layer, click show properties, and drop down the motion control properties for this layer. This will give you scaling and position control over the clip. So first let's scale this clip down a bit. Then you can position the clip using the position numbers. It may take a bit of effort to get it to the right position. Just scale and move as you go to get the clip to where you need it to go. Once you get the clip in place, you're pretty much good to go. You can play through your timeline to see how everything is coming together. Now just edit your footage and b-roll the way you need it and render out a final movie. Thanks for taking the time to watch this tutorial. See you next time.